What's up everybody and welcome to My Minimalistic Home. I'm gonna jump in today and talk to you about why I think it's important to declutter your life, declutter your home, so that you can declutter your mind. It's absolutely important for me personally. Right now in the meantime, I'm making myself a cup of raspberry herbal tea with some unsweet almond milk. And uh, right now I'm boiling some water, so let me knock this out and then we'll get right into the video. everybody thanks for sticking through that intro thanks for jumping into this video first of all and now I just want to talk about what is going on here why am I talking about minimalism what does it mean and how has it helped me in my life um, as you can see it's pretty gray and white in this house as you saw me making my tea um, as you see me throughout this video I'll kind of show you around I'll show you my entire living room I'll show you my kitchen I'll show you my bedroom um, it's pretty bare and it's pretty naked and when someone walks in they might think wow it feels so empty in here um, But for me, it's quite the opposite my experience with um, having kind of a minimalistic mindset um, Actually makes me feel much better when my house is cluttered. I actually start feeling anxious. I actually start getting um, just stressed out for some reason. I'm not sure why um, even growing up it wasn't uh, a minimalistic household. Uh, my parents had things and we had things growing up and I believe I enjoyed them, I think. Uh, but as I got older and started going off to college and things, um, I just realized, I was like, ah, I really don't like cluttering my room because then when it's time to move, you have to move a ton of stuff. I think that's kind of where the entire idea for me came from. Um, it was just a, hey, when it's time to move, you have to take all these things and then I don't even use 90% of those things. So in essence, uh, for me, I think just being able to walk around in a house that just doesn't have too many things gives me peace. Um, it doesn't make me feel empty inside. A lot of people think like, man, you have nothing there. It doesn't feel like home. It doesn't feel like you have anything. Um, I got a few plants. I got my couch um, and I, I my, I don't know, my house isn't for for finding um, too much comfort. I enjoy what I do, so I'm not like searching for something when I get home. Um, and my bedroom is about as bare as it gets. That's where my bed is, that's where I sleep, and that is it. No TV, no nothing. Um, if I wanna watch a TV, it's gonna be in the living room where, um, in my opinion, you're supposed to. You're not supposed to, you know, in my opinion, sit there and watch TV as you're trying to go to bed and get your brain running. Um, that's a place for rest and all those things. But that's just my personal experience for, you know, getting into a minimalistic mindset. And um, actually a couple of years ago, I watched a, a movie on Netflix called, uh, I think it's Minimalism. And that even opened my eyes more. I was like, wow, like they're explaining me. That's that's what I do. That's how I feel. And so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a pretty awesome life. I enjoy it. And I hope you enjoy this little house tour that I'm going to do for for you and uh, just go into talking about the benefits of why I think this is something you could you could enjoy as well let's move on all right I'm standing outside the front of my house so we're just gonna go in the door right quick now I will say if you're used to having a lot of things in your house I will say that my house probably will feel a little empty to you but when I walk in, it feels clean, it makes me feel alive, it makes me feel as if I am home, and it makes me feel good. Um, you can see, I don't have a lot much of anything, nothing on the walls. Um, you see my TV there with a little plant going around it. Um, absolutely nothing on that wall. I have a lamp right there, and I have my kitchen right here, which I'll go a little bit closer over there. But it's something that just makes me feel good. I don't know what it is about having a house that is you know, conforming to the minimalistic idea, but it's something that gives me comfort. It's something that brings me peace. And if you ever embark on a journey like this, don't do it just because someone's telling you to do it. Do it because it actually brings you peace. And when I tell you, I actually feel so much better when I don't see a bunch of clutter around me, which I would assume is probably 90% of the world's population. When you're uncluttered and when there's just not a lot of stuff, it makes you feel more free, it makes you feel like you just have more space in your mind. 
um, and on your chest, like you don't have so much on your shoulders, but I'm gonna go into my kitchen here, kind of give you a little overview of that, um, and just show you like the bare necessities of what it takes, um, and, I, and I live by myself, you know, I live alone, um, I do have a three bedroom, two bath house that I built three years ago, um, so that I'm grateful for, you know, I've worked hard and been able to achieve this, and it's just the vibe that I go for, you know, it's just, I love it, no one else lives with me, so I don't have to argue with anybody about getting more stuff, um, so let's jump right into the kitchen. So starting out right here, I got some bar stools for my bar. I don't have a dining area. I do live alone, so when we designed this house, it was in particular so that I just had enough room to eat. Um, you know, if I ever was to get married, have a few kids, this would be my starter home, but you've got to have the plants. You know, they just bring you life right here. They make you feel good. I love talking to them. Um, I like watering them. And then I got my little cuties right here. If you never had a cutie, you should definitely get some. Publix, yep, or any other store. Um, got my stainless steel oven right here, and this is where I boil my hot water for my tea when I drink it. Um, I just don't know why I won't go get an instant pot. I just pour water in there from the sink, um, and then get it going right there. And then I got one little sign right here for my other YouTube channel, and just says "Back to Life," and then my Instagram handle Nico TJR. And it's a great day, like it always is. And I've got the white cabinets here. Um, one little sign that says love you then, love you still, always have, always will, that my mom actually brought here. So of course, if mom brings something, you've gotta let it slide. Uh, that's a good sign, right? That's, that's a beautiful little sign there. And then the stainless steel refrigerator slash freezer. And right here, going out to my back window, a nice little area to sit down, just where you can have peace. All right, now it's time to take you into my master bedroom. Um, and I absolutely love this room, why? Because it, I know when I come in here that it's time to go to sleep. Um, so I do have a king size bed. That is one thing that is not minimalistic. Um, it is absolutely huge and I only sleep on like a quarter of it. I sleep on about 25% of this bed, literally right here. When I wake up, I'm like hugging the edge. Um, I got really used to sleeping on twin beds when I was in college and everything like that. So it just, you know, I don't know why I get used to it, but there was like the best bang for your buck when I was buying this bed. And I've actually put my house on Airbnb and stuff like that, so it's actually come in handy. So I've made a good money off of this mattress, so thank you so much. But yeah, that's my master bedroom, nothing special. It's just a place to go to sleep. It's a place to let your thoughts leave. It's a place to put your phone down. It's a place not to watch TV. It's a place where you can go and rest. That is extremely important to me. Um, and I will never have a TV in my bedroom, I don't think. Never say never, but I just don't think I will ever have a TV in a bedroom where I sleep. I just don't think that's very good for you. I think the mind needs that time. Um, and it needs to register that, hey, this room is for sleeping. This is where you get your rest. This is where you go and it's time to shut off. And that's exactly what I do when I come into my master bedroom. Quick fun fact, I know it's nowhere near Christmas time, but these are my absolute favorite slippers. I love wearing these around the house, amazing. But I'm gonna grab my tea, sit down on the couch, and have another conversation. That's good stuff. If you don't like drinking tea, I would advise you, personal opinion here, grab you a hot cup of tea, add some almond milk, unsweet, I don't like sugar, that is not for me, but regardless, that's kind of a little house tour for you right there. Uh, my house is, in, in my eyes, it's, it's perfect. Um, to many people, it feels bland and it feels like there's just not enough there. Um, but I think that when you actually separate those things from yourself, you're now no longer feeling like you have to fill it with space. And I think that's one of the hardest places for someone to get out of is a place of like, hey, there's space. I have an extra bedroom. I need to fill it with something. Um, in my bedrooms, all I have is a, you know, a metal frame, a box spring, and a mattress with a comforter on it. I think that that's what the bedroom's for. Do I have a closet where I can put clothes up? Yes, absolutely. However, you know, if you have a dresser and a nightstand and this and that, and a, a little table for this and a nook for that, I think that's when you just, you're starting to fill things as a human being. Your, your mind's like, hey, this is empty, so I should fill it. This needs something right here. This needs a picture. This needs that. And that's why I fell in love with the minimalistic mindset is because I was like, wow, I don't have to fill all these spaces and I still feel good about it. I feel like I can just walk in and not have to get my mind distracted by 15 things and I can just focus on what I wanna focus on. So it really became more of a liberating feeling to me when all these things, you know, you watch all this propaganda on TV, you watch all these marketing, all these ads and everything is just coming at you from every single direction. 
especially during times like Christmas and Black Friday and just times where there's just sales, sales, sales and blowout sale for this and blowout sale for that. All they're doing is just filling your mind with the idea that you want something so you should go get it. They're almost making you believe that you need it and if you don't have it that your quality of life will suffer. Um, and that's probably the saddest thing for me is that we as a human race have gone so numb to the feeling of now you don't need it, you just want it, but you think that you need it, so you're gonna go buy it and just fill your house with it. And then when you move to your next house, you're just gonna put it in storage. You know how many people pay for storage units that they have never even gone and visited in about 15 years? Like that's just so, all the time, that happens. That's just something that is going on. And to me, I never understood it. If I wanted to move this house literally right now, if I wanted to go to another place, I could pack up within five hours, grab all my clothes, grab some of the things in my kitchen, uh, throw everything out of the refrigerator and I am good to go. Maybe five to seven hours. Many people, it takes weeks for them to pack up their house and I just, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm not married, maybe it's because I don't have any kids, um, but it just blows my mind to think that I would fill this house with so much stuff that I would never use. So there's many, many, many health benefits in my opinion of, you know, just decluttering your life, decompressing your mind, decompressing what you think society is telling you that you should be doing. I think it just really takes a strong individual to say, hey, all these things, all these things in the world, everything that everybody has to offer, I don't really need them. And I encourage you, I mean, if you want to, if you're bored and you know, the world threw you for a loop, start over real quick, sell what you have, make some money, and then see how it feels, see how liberating it feels to just get rid of everything, how it feels to just be okay having what you have and that's it. And then not having to, you know, tote around five million boxes of, of what you've packed that you haven't even used in years and years and years. Of course, there's souvenirs and little things that you might want to save. That's okay. I'm not talking about sentimental value and little things like that. What I'm talking about is just filling your house with things because there's space there. Um, that's just human nature. You know, if there's an empty space, guess what? We need to put something there. And uh, I encourage you, if you're watching this video, you know, take the time to figure it out just this day by day. It's a slow process. It's not something that you just jump into and, you know, just sell everything you have and never look back at what you ever had. No, I mean, you can't live with one fork and one pair of boxers for the rest of your life. That's not what I'm talking about. That is not minimalism. I'm talking about enjoying yourself for what you have and being content with that. Not wanting just things and things and things and things. Materialistic things will not make you happy unless your life is actually in a good place. I don't care what you buy, if you are not okay up here and you are not okay in here, you will not be happy based off of some thing that someone buys you. Yeah, if someone buys you a Lamborghini, guess what, you drive it a few times, that feeling goes away. Someone buys you a yacht, you go on the boat a few times, that feeling goes away. But when you can declutter your life and kind of center yourself, and figure out what you want, you know, whether it's spiritually, physically, mentally, or emotionally, and get on the right track of just decluttering everything. It's just like a full life detox. I'm telling you, the benefits and the lifestyle, it just, it makes you feel good. I don't know why, but it's amazing. Of course, if you have a spouse or kids and things like that, it's gonna be a lot tougher because now you got a group of people that has to work together and get rid of things that they've had for many, many, many years, but Hey, it never hurts to try, right? Now I will say, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I shed a little bit of light on what the minimalistic approach to life is. It's not something I think you should drastically do right away and just dive into the deep end, but I think it's a slow process that you can get into that you would actually enjoy. But if you did enjoy the video, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, turn on your post notifications, like the video and share the video for me so that we can reach an audience and hey, maybe we can reach someone that wants to try the minimalistic life and maybe you can learn something from some of my other business videos. But without further ado, I hope you enjoyed it. Go make yourself a cup of tea, and I'll see you on the next one.